Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this with a laser engraver and a few extra supplies. Let's go ahead and get started. It's coming up on Halloween season, so I wanted to make some sort of project that my wife could use for decoration. So uh, yeah, I found some cool files online and we're going to make a Halloween sign. So for this project, we're going to of course need a laser engraver. So we're using the longer Ray 5 here, as well as some project board. Pick this up from Amazon. This is just the 12 by 12 basswood, basswood. I don't really know how you say it. Um, kind of expensive for wood, but to be honest with you, the finished product's gonna be worth it, I think. So, and then we're going to be using spray paint and a wood stain uh, to kind of give it, just kind of make it pop a little more. So as you can see, I've done a lot of testing here with uh, how to do cuts and make sure I have the best quality. I used what is known as a power test. I did all that testing because I want to make sure I'm doing this right and getting the most out of this machine. Uh, we use this little uh, tester here. This is built into Lightburn where you can test to see the optimal settings to use for your cuts. And that's how I was able to determine uh, you know, what settings I wanted to use for the uh, laser engraver to do the cut. I downloaded this file off Etsy, so if you end up liking the outcome of what I'm doing, you can purchase it down below. I think it was only like $3 on sale. I think it was like maximum five, six bucks. So shout out to the Etsy seller. Link's down below if you wanna pick it up. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I've got all plugged up here. We need to first put down our first piece of wood here that we're gonna be using to cut. So that will be this little piece right here. And we wanna make sure that we've got it set at the right height. I know it's at the right height, um, but we wanna make sure that we're, we don't have anything, any debris or anything like that in the way. So this is a three cut series. So we're gonna do the circle first, then this little part over here, and then of course the text. Um, I'm gonna set the power and everything I need to for the laser engraving itself, but uh, this is just ran through USB over to this machine and we're using this little base wood, like I said. So now that I've got the wood loaded up, we're going to go ahead and frame it and make sure it's in the right spot. So I'll click frame. Perfect, I think I've got this lined up to the biggest it can go. So we press that just to make sure. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be right on it. Yeah, this is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and set it. What from my test, it needed to be 700 speed here and we can go 100% power. And we're gonna do two passes just to make sure that it is completely cut. Before we press start, goggles. And here we go. I'll tell you this, uh, little machines making some funky noises. It's like I'm sure it's the belt timing, but it's just, it's perfect. It's a very interesting noise. Oh, it's, it's very smoky. Make sure you have ventilation when you're doing this kind of stuff. I've got a fan set up over here uh, blowing outside. So um, that's going to help me, but yeah, make sure you have ventilation if you start doing some laser engraving. All right. So first cuts done or first parts done. We're going to pull this up. Oh, that's a perfect cut. That's awesome. Looks really clean. The back got a little bit of a uh, little residue here. Not a big deal though, because we're actually not going to be using the back anyways. So there we go. First cut finished. All right, we're gonna frame it up to make sure that I've got it set correctly. Yep, looking good on this one too. All right, we'll have this one start cutting. So this cut's roughly gonna take around 12 minutes. You don't wanna leave these things unattended just because it could be a fire hazard. So. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna film the whole thing here, so I'm gonna let this go through. We'll check back in here shortly. Okay, we should be getting towards the end of this cut here. I think this is it right here. And so this is the one with the most design to it. Um, so if we can get a good clean cut on this one, we will be good to go. All right, I think it's good. Let's pull it out here. So that's a good sign. So let's see here. That's good. Pop out this bottom part. <laughs> That looks really cool. There's a couple places where this just didn't want to pop all the way out. We're just going to slowly work our way around and get it out. I've got the cutout settings pretty dialed in, but there's just a few places on this wood that just did not want to let go. No! No! 
Just broke the their tail thing. Ah, okay. We're gonna recut this one. This one was a break. We're gonna recut it. All right, so uh, <laughs> second time's a charm, I guess. Uh, that printed out literally no problem. Let me grab it here. So I ended up lowering the speed by 50, which allowed me to get these like finer cuts without them breaking. So I'm still a little scared to put a lot of pressure on this. Yeah, you can see how finicky that is. So I'm not gonna touch this much till we get spray painted and then we can glue it down. So the last layer should be pretty easy. It's literally just the text. So I'm gonna get that set up, cut, and we'll see how it works out. All right, so I've got some wood stain here. We're gonna be using this uh, penetrating wood stain finish by Minwax. The color is Gunstock, but to be honest with you, it looks kind of more like an orange, which is what we're wanting since it's kind of Halloween. So we'll try that. So I've got them stained. I'm gonna let this dry and I need to go ahead and stain the back piece for this or the first layer. Then the second layer is going to be black spray paint and then these on top. All right, I really like how this turned out. I, 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 I think that this stain looks a little better than what I was originally thinking. Not so much sold on the lettering, mainly because they're a pain in the butt to use, but who knows? Let's go ahead and do the spray paint now. All right, for anyone that's wondering, this is an old table. It's meant to be busted up like this, so I'm gonna spray paint directly on here. This is cheap spray paint. <laughs> I can tell by the way it's going on. But it'll get the job done. I just like to point out that this spray paint was 97 cents. I should tell you how old this stuff is. It looks horrible, <laughs> but it'll, it'll do for this project. All right, so for the last part here, you can kind of get the idea of what's about to go on. We're about to glue these together. Really like the way this turned out. We'll lay this on top. We're using E6000 glue here, and let's go ahead and get this attached. Okay, so we're gonna flip this side over and just put some glue here. Just put it in a few different places. You kinda just gotta get this right the first time because if you place this in the wrong spot, you're gonna have glue marks everywhere because I don't know a way to remove those. Make sure we got it good and good a bit of glue around the edges here because that's where it matters most. You don't want it peeling up on the sides. And the only thing I don't like about E6000 is stuff tends to take a long time to set. So you have to sit here and hold it after it cures for like a few minutes, but a few seconds will probably do it since this is a lighter piece. Probably should have cleaned off the table before I did this. So I realize now that I didn't put any underneath this broom. So we're gonna hope for the best that I don't break it. Ooh, that's finicky. I don't trust that. I'm gonna have to get a knife or something. Okay, so we got a knife we're gonna use to try to get this under without it breaking. Okay. That looks good. First part's done. Now we gotta add the, the letters here. And to be honest with you, this is going to be a little chaotic. I'm not really sure the best way to go about this. Oi, okay. So I'm actually just gonna do this a little simple. I'm gonna put this on a knife and then just kind of dab it on the back of these things. Um, hindsight, I probably would have made this a little bigger because it is very hard to work with these fine letters. So here's the end result. This is my first, I guess you could say, completed uh, laser engraving project, just in time for Halloween. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Z-Banks, for sending me the longer Ray 5 10 watt. If you want to pick one up, you can get it down in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for checking out today's video. We'll see you next time.